Hi, Matthew Nagy here. I'm going to give another demo of this uh, two-hold technique using a four-hold card. Um, just to show you, when you rotate them forward, you get one shed. When you rotate them backwards, you get the other shed. And this is exactly the same kind of weaving as would happen with inkle heddles but uh, my hands seem to lend themselves better to just grabbing and turning the cards very quickly, whereas with the inkle heddles, I find that I fiddle a lot more. For those of you who don't know, on this type of loom, there's a bar right here which has heddles that would normally attach to part to half of the warp, and uh, they create the shed in a different way. But let's just give a demonstration here. So um, I'm going to rotate toward me. I'm going to beat and pull away beat pull. I gave a demo of this looking down from above before and it seems like it was a little bit confusing for people because you couldn't quite see what was happening. So I've decided to redo this demonstration uh, with this warp and this way you can see how it's being woven. Now I'm standing at my cutting table uh, where I make a lot of costumes and I have the loom pressed up against the wall, and I'm leaning on it to keep it from shifting. Uh, it's the most convenient way for me to weave. A lot of people like to weave sitting down. I find that this particular loom is a little bit short for that, since I'm uh, kind of tall. It um, makes me lean over too far, and then I end up with a sore back. So this is going to work out a lot better for me doing it this way. It's the perfect height. I don't get uh, stiff at all. It's important as you're learning how to weave that you find places within your home or wherever it is you're going to be working that you can be exceptionally comfortable and that your body feels more or less at rest when you're working uh, because you'll be able to work a lot longer and for um, a lot longer and faster because you're conserving energy by not being uncomfortable. You can see as I work my way up the warp, I have a tendency to push the cards further up so they're uh, moving somewhat out of frame. Let me rotate this warp. There we go. Should be easier to see now. I always find it's important to keep the cards fairly close to where you're working because uh, then you spend less energy reaching for them as you make your pass through the shed. There we go. I'm going to move this around so you can see what I've been weaving here. There you go. Just brown and gold, very simple. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informational.